So parents, if you don't um, hate me by now, I'm fixing to probably blow your minds with the last method to learn to multiply, and it's called lattice. In fourth grade, we don't assess lattice, but we do teach it because they use it in fifth grade quite a bit. Um, and lattice is just this crazy shortcut way to multiply. Some kids love it, some kids hate it. I will tell you that next week when we have our test over all the different ways that have been on these videos, lattice will only be a bonus. It will not be assessed, but if kids want to try it for the bonus, they can get bonus points. But I'm going to show you something called lattice. Um, I'm going to use 24 times 13. And the lattice, what it looks like is lattice work, like you might find in a garden with flowers growing up, or sometimes people put them in their decking underneath, uh, underneath a mobile home. Um, and it actually, you're going to draw lines. You do a box method, what looks like box method, and then you draw some diagonal lines. And of course, you can probably see why it's called lattice, because um, it kind of looks like lattice work. And then you're going to take your problem 24 times 13, and this time you don't even have to tell their value. You're just going to put 24, and the 13 is going to come down the right side, which is a little bit different from anything we've done. 13. Now, you know, we've always said this is a 20, and so we've done 20, but with lattice you don't. You keep it just the digits themselves, not their place, not their value. So now, when you multiply, what you have to keep in mind is that every triangle must have a number in it. And so it, when you multiply here and you come find the corner, 2 times 1 is 2, but we have to have two numbers to represent 2. So of course we can put a 0 in front of the 2, and so uh, 2 times 1 is 2, and that's how you would fill in that part of the lattice work. Here we're going to say 4 times 1 is 4, and so you probably can guess what needs to go here. A 0. And then we're going to come down to this bottom square. 2 times 3 is 6. So again, we're going to need 0, 6 because we've got to fill every triangle. And then lastly, 4 times 3 is 12. And so we're going to fill it in like that. Now the next step is to extend the lattice work outside of the box. So I tell the students to just keep drawing the lines out like that. Now this is where it gets crazy, parents. You can actually start in this bottom right corner and add on a diagonal everything in the box in that diagonal gets added well inside this box in this diagonal there's only one number it's a two so it's like saying two plus nothing so down here we're going to write two now i'm going to this diagonal i have four plus one plus six well four plus six is ten and one more is eleven and we're going to regroup just like we did with standard algorithm we're going to put a one here and i'm going to regroup in that diagonal the next one the eleven here it is one and one Third diagonal, I've got a 1, a 0, a 2, a 0. So in that diagonal, I add together and I've got a 3. And in the last diagonal, I have 0. So the answer to this problem is actually 312. Now let me prove it to you using something the students will know, box method. So if we come over here and we make a box and we do 20 and 4 and 10 and 3 and we multiply... 20 times 10 is 200, 4 times 10 is 40, 20 times 3 is 60, 4 times 3 is 12. Then, of course, we have to add all of those together. We have a 2, 6, 10, 11, 2 plus 1 is 3, look at there, 312. We have 312 here, 312 there. Some students love lattice, other students it blows their mind. I will tell you, it's not my favorite way. But I know a lot of teachers who love it because it's this really quick shortcut. Um, and so we will be trying lattice on Monday, but don't panic. It's not assessed in fourth grade. We just introduce it and it's a bonus on the test next week. So watch the video again. If, you, if it blew your mind like the first time I saw it, you might want to watch the video a couple of times. But um, that's what I'm going to be showing the students on Monday. Have a great weekend.